do you not have to come to a realization, and it's a terrible realization at times, that no matter what we do, no matter the education that you do, Nazism is alive and well in America, Nazi hate and belief is alive and well in America, and that it is being fostered by groups that believe they are powerful, and it is being helped along by members of the press, not the press, but the media themselves, this ridiculous, nonsensical social media disaster that's out there where people claim that they are nothing more than freedom fighters and patriots. They're the ones that are pushing this and, and at a constant level. So does it not seem that we are just, I, I, I throw up my hands, I guess. It seems like we have to learn to live with them because they're not going to go away. And I, and I, I don't know if it's, the generational disaster of this is going to change if we simply get to the children, Joni. It's, it's, it's tough to believe that that makes it an impact. Well, I do think, though, I mean, just whenever there's an anti-Semitic act anywhere and you look to people like the ADL and the ACLU and, and organizations like that, it is about all of us speaking up to those acts and to do something about it. So, you know, if a Nazi flag gets painted on a school, that's a hate act and you do something about it. So there's a lot that goes on. And I think all the common voices that uh, believe in a one humanity and that we all you know, should, be, should protect each other and care about each other, those voices are strong. Um, and I think they get together when there's an act like this. Something happens, we issue statements and I agree. So what do you do next? I think it is a growing problem in our, in our country. I think you see, um, on the political uh, scale of things, some people denouncing it very strongly and others kind of wishy-washy in their statements. And that's what, you know, it's, a, it's appalling to me because- Which, which has to be astounding when you're wishy-washy about it. We're talking about the extermination of a race of people exactly. in, in, in our lifetimes. We're not talking about as if this was in the 1500s, but right. there are people, Joni, and many of them are political leaders to this day and social media leaders and entertainment figures and people who, when you tell them the Holocaust was real, Nazi flags are bad, the Nazi symbol and salute is bad, they will go, well, it's just certain people. It's mind blowing that we have gotten to this point. That's why I think I'm, I'm getting to the point where I love the fact that we're talking about education, but I think we have to realize that it's just not gonna work with some people. It never will. Yeah. Well, and that gets back to who your leaders are, because as you elect people, I mean, people should care. We can all have different opinions about our tax codes and all of these things, but the value of ethics and caring for one another, that shouldn't waver. And I think that's that's one thing about, I mean, I think everybody should vote and wouldn't tell you how to vote, but everybody should <laughs> vote. But one of your things ought to be check off the list. How do they feel about this? How do they answer this? What do they say? when you ask them these kind of questions, you know, what would you, what would be your position if this happened in your community? What would you say? What would you do? You know, and I, I don't think there's very much of that anymore. We're, we're all kind of fractured into our individual things we care about. And this is one that's very overreaching and that in our democracy, I mean, the demise of democracy that happened um, in Germany and the fact that Czechoslovakia, where my father grew up, I mean, he, he was born when it was Austria-Hungary and it formed in 1918 and he grew up in what they call before, between the wars. And it was supposed to be the most vibrant democracy in Europe. Um, they're still in his letters when he reflects on when he was growing up, he's talking about the anti-Semitism and the fact that he was identified as a, as a Jew when he just wanted to be a proud Czech. That was what he wanted. Um, so I think, you know, I think that is the stunning thing to me right now because it gets back to, I think you should care about, you know, all of our our people in this country. We're all very mixed in our backgrounds usually and we're very diverse and that's wonderful and we should celebrate that. But I also think we need to protect our democracy because without that, it, it'll be like Nazi Germany. You know, they were in complete control. They did, a, you know, they made laws against um, the Jews and the Nuremberg laws and they, and they discriminated not just against, or they were after Romas and they were after Slavs and then of course homosexuals. So it was 6 million Jews that were, you know, that died and perished, um, including 44 of my relatives I never got to meet. And then there were 5 million 
who weren't Jews. And so they were targeted for being inferior. Some of them were political prisoners, but 5 million others. And I think we have to remember that. It was a very broad extermination program of human beings, just like you and I.